Happy spring equinox, guys. This is Tennessee Tim out here in my bee yard. I want to show you something I've been working on. You know we love the bucket feeders here. You can see the hole down in between the frames. This is uh, for mating queens. That's a 10 frame box. You don't need to buy special high bodies and stuff. To, you know, what, what that is, is that catches those frames like that and still feed. So this stuff is R21. It's a reflectic. When I, when I get ready to make a queen in here, I'm gonna stick a frame of bees, a blank on one side. I have pollen petty and it's this insulated follower board. I put a half inch hardware cloth down where the uh, foundation goes. You peel, peel some of the paper back on your pollen petty and it'll mash right into them wires and suspend. Well, the honeybees can get in behind this Keep the high beetles run off of it better. So you have that. I'm gonna give them, leave them a blank to, to draw off of, and there'll be like a frame of bees. And then this is the other frame. It's just like that other one. And what I do is this uh, this insulation has been stapled on. So I pour poured four pounds of dry sugar in this okay it gets dolled down in between the wires i wet it down you can see how where it dried it's cracking I lay it out there the day before well it holds it you see you can shake it well you put that in the center here you got it insulated on both sides insulated across the top so you don't need as many bees you give them carbohydrates on this side you give them protein on this side and take your bucket feeders and just fill them up with straight spring water when you uh put your insulation back on I'm trying to do this one handed and turn it with your foam that hole in that insulation allows them to get water so you got all their needs taken care of you got a frame of bees and a queen cell in here. And when she makes, you come back a month later and say, oh yeah, she filled this frame up. You take it to another box, take that frame to another box, leave that there, take that frame to another box. And then you load her out with, with drawn comb or more foundations, whatever you have available to you to grow her out even quicker. Just something I've been working on down here in the hills of Tennessee, a way to make queens in full size equipment. And that gives them plenty of room to lay in a month's time. When you come back, you'll have one of two things. You'll have one of two things in that box. You'll either have a laying worker and have to dump it out, start all over again, or you'll have a mated queen in that box. One of two things. One, two things. So, hope you see something. If you got any questions about this, leave them in the comments below. But you can see that sugar just it lays right up there in that, right up in that wire. No need to mount and camp when you're doing it like this. You can put the food on each side of the cluster. You're giving them water. They got all their needs. Tell me what you think.